it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We're focusing in on more ways to get revenge on a covert narcissist. I receive a lot of inquiries and questions on video topics and this is one I feel is very important and that is really how to get back, how to assert yourself, how to stop taking what the covert narcissist is dishing, how to stop the habituated ways, what I essentially call the blueprint. The blueprint with which the role with which the covert narcissist has for you. The covert narcissist will essentially create a way where you direct all of your energy towards, satisfa towards satisfaction of their needs, towards su supplying um, and fostering their egocentric views to the point where essentially your own voice is muffled. Uh, your own spirit is uh, muddled. Your own view and your own values are no longer allowed to be expressed or exp uh, lived or behaved upon or taken action on where you essentially feel like you're entrapped, ensnared, and can't live your life out of a guilt that keeps you stuck or really in a, what I really consider really kind of a compulsion to take care of them and be there to help them live their life versus allowing you to live your life and go free. There's always a feeling, um, I think, from those who have been uh, targeted by covert narcissists that they feel very uncomfortable with living their own life. They feel very comfortable with leaving them, uh, uncomfortable with leaving them behind. They feel very much like they're leaving them behind, but those people are where they are, are at. And so you have to meet yourself and embrace yourself with where you are at, where you are at emotionally, where you are at uh, psychologically, spiritually, physically, and saying, okay, this is where I am at. And then furthermore, being conditioned and having a vision for yourself. You have to visualize in order to really materialize your future best self, your best life. Because if you've been habituated, which means you're, you know, again and again and again, you've been subconsciously, um, you know, been there for them um, uh, through, you know, months and years of, of your, your perception being drawn to the feeling and the supposition that you have to be there to take care of them, that their needs are more important than yours, that you must take always a back seat, you must be less than, you must quiet yourself around this individual, then it becomes a, a habituated or basically what I call, you know, uh, a lingering mood or it becomes in a compulsion and you feel that living your life would be so contrary to this struggle, it would be so contrary to this quote unquote weakened or meek or a silenced individual that it becomes very difficult. It becomes very uncomfortable. Um, there's a, a feeling of guilt that tends to pervade or fear. And uh, that is really part of the um, covert narcissist manipulation is this feeling that you are of a disappointment to them because you haven't been able to live up to their perfection standards or because of their negative validation of you that you feel like you can't really um, live out loud. You can't really be yourself. You can't really, you know, go and laugh without hurting them. And so, of course, oftentimes I feel that these people who are now, you know, empathic or have really um, developed a lot of their empathy or codependence um, feel that they're really kind of hurting this individual just by living their own life. So if you really kind of think about that, you have to really begin to understand your words and what your self-talk is, is telling you. So you have to adjust your self-talk in order to really have revenge and really live your own life. So the ultimate revenge really is living your own life without guilt. And, you know, a lot of people um, ask me, you know, should I, uh, you know, do this? Should I turn this person in? Should I give them a smear campaign back? Um, should I, you know, send the authorities after them? Well, certain times it, it's important, you know, you need to have legal uh, protection, especially if it's in a workplace or a family or assets or goods have been, uh, you know, lost or, um, you know, your, um, your own reputation um, which has been, if it's been violated and impacted your ability to, uh, to earn money, uh, this is actually um, against the law. And that is uh, basically uh, called uh, defamation of character. And if you, um, yes, there's freedom of speech, um, 
you know, in the U.S., but if you are defaming someone's character to the point where they can no longer earn money or it's impacted their career or they've had to leave their career, you've um, impacted their productivity in a negative way, their morale in a negative way at the workplace, this is called defamation of character, and that is grounds for a lawsuit. So there's also uh, libel. There's lawyers who specialize in this as well as in um, stalking behavior, which is also um, illegal. Um, people can pay fines and be put in jail for those purposes. Um, so it's very serious and it's time that you take your recovery seriously um, and give it the commitment that it deserves and work on it consistently and work on it um, on a daily basis and a moment by moment basis too because it will pay you off in dividends in terms of your ability to have emotional uh, emotional uh, substance, emotional peace, emotional harmony. And when I talk about emotional harmony, I mean that you have peace within yourself and then peace within others and you're able to interact with others in a healthy manner. You're able to interact with others in a very sort of uh, trusting manner. You're able to operate out of self-belief and not have to only live to foster another's belief in self, but you're able to live out of your own energetic being and your own energetic bank account, which should be able to be filled and by knowing your value and you should be able to take that out with, um, you know, take yourself and interact with others through knowing your value and not feeling like you have to give yourself away. You have to violate your boundaries. Um, oftentimes the people who have been in relationships with these individuals have had their boundaries so violated um, so many times that they really don't even know what their boundaries are, where they, wh wh what that even means or how to enforce them. So it's really the ability to say no. It's the ability to say I can't. It's the ability to say I won't. And it's the ability to say not me, but to furthermore embrace the I am and I can and I will through asserting your own dreams, your own values, and really embracing that. And the people who don't have the empathy, the people who aren't supportive, the people who don't validate you, the people who don't, you know, get you or embrace you for who you are, those are the people that you need to let go. And furthermore, cut those people out of your circle of influence because they are on a different wavelength. And if they are operating in narcissistic circles, then they, you know, are going to perpetuate this and they're going to perpetuate, you know, various relationships that only, you know, uh, fill their ego. And oftentimes they oftentimes, you know, go through life empty handed. Um, they don't have, um, a lot of friends or people who they've truly connected with. They're only truly people who are, um, like as stepping stones or people who they um, use and abuse each other. And um, if that's not for you, it's time to say, you know what, that's no longer for me. Uh, that, that circle of influence is not where I fit in and belong. I have now grown out of that. I've evolved beyond it. And oftentimes these people, um, you know, they will try to hoover people back in and saying, you know, I'm jealous that you have been able to move on. You know, we have not been able to move on. We're still, you know, in this um, rut. Um, so. You want to step out of the rut, <laughs> get out of the rut, don't fall back into it. And if you feel, feel yourself being, you know, um, you know, hovered back in, be very firm. Um, you know, don't, don't begin to doubt yourself because I think <coughs> self doubt is one of the things that really plagues people. Um, they, and they just don't, don't know how to assert themselves and their own, um, strengths and really get in touch with those strengths and then live those in conjunction with other people. So really get in touch with what makes you happy, what makes you giddy, what makes you laugh again and begin to surround yourself with people's events and experiences that get you giddy, that make you happy, that make you feel energized, that make you feel happy the where you are whole. And if you feel lonely in the beginning, that is okay. Sometimes you need to be on your own to discover those things. You need to go into like a personal retreat, if you will. You need to kind of take a step back and really sort of evaluate where you're going in your life and begin to redirect your energy, mind, and attention to those things which are truly comforting, soothing, um, satisfying for you, energizing. So if things that you get excited for, you know, that, you know, you can be yourself, that is going to be where you want to start making your decisions 
and pursuing you know your your decisions and your life uh, path in that direction because that's where your life purpose is going to be that is where your happiness is and then you're going to encounter that it's almost blissful I, I would say you know once people really get beyond these hurtful individuals they realize that your whole life is not meant to be lived in an unhappy scathed and um, victimized manner that you can't you are the victor you are conquering this you are conquering over the negativity and you are above it and then you feel a heightened sense of uh, personal growth you feel a heightened uh, perception you feel a heightened consciousness having grown through it and that is wisdom and that wisdom is yours and that wisdom is yours to keep for a lifetime peace and harmony with you here today I hope these videos do help Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.